So you're planning a baby shower and you want to do something a little bit out of the box, but you don't want to spend a lot of money. You want it to be affordable. You want it to be unique and creative and fun. And you want to do it in the shortest amount of time possible. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make these unique and creative note cards. These can be decorated any kind of way you want and they're cost effective. They don't cost a lot. They're fun to make. They're easy to make and you can make them in less than 30 minutes. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get to it. Hi everyone, I'm Vanessa S of By Vanessa S. Welcome to my channel. And if you've been here before, welcome back to my channel. As you know, I'm a creative and I like to create. And right now I'm working on a baby shower. And so I thought I would share some of the things that I've been doing with you. One of the things that I've been doing is creating these note cards. Now, the reason why I like this project is because one of the activities that you can do at a baby shower is to have people who have experience with children to provide words of wisdom or blessings to the parent or parents-to-be. And instead of just having them do that at the baby shower, what you can do is have them write on a note card like this, and then the parents can read the well wishes, the blessings, they can read the words of wisdom at their leisure. Sometimes in times of when they need it, <laughs> you know, how kids can be. And so having a note card like this, where everyone can just take one, write their sentiment on it, and then you can drop it in a little box. You can have a little box that they can drop it in or, you know, make something special, an envelope or whatever. It provides the parent or parents to be the opportunity to read them at their leisure, pull them out how they want to, or preserve them. To make these note cards is very, very easy. It's very simple and it takes a lot less time than you think and it doesn't cost a lot. You can literally get one sheet of cardboard paper and depending on what your design is, you can make at least eight to 10 on one 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Now, as you can see, I chose to make a baby's bottle and a onesie. And I chose these because I... I just, first of all, I just like the design <laughs> of the baby bottle because babies have bottles and then they, and they wear onesies. So I thought these would be appropriate. And on one, I put blessings and on the other, I put words of wisdom. Either way, people can write whatever they want on them and notice that they have lines so that they can write on it. They also have the back of them, which is plain, which they can use that as well if they want. You know, if they need extra space. Now, because of the choice that I made with the cardstock, this first cardstock, when I first made it in this color, I thought it needed a little something, so I added the glitter. But then when I used a different cardstock, it the it didn't need anything, so I didn't add glitter to these. But both of these designs are like, like I said, they're easy to make, but that I thought they were appropriate. And you can tell by the fact that they're blue, that the baby is a boy. <laughs> so you can do it in any color you want to, or it can be neutral, um, gender neutral yellows, but the sentiment is the same, affordable, easy, and definitely very, very creative, elevating your baby shower experience for your guest. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that in Cricut Design Space using my Cricut Maker 3. Let me go to the computer and show you how it's done. And let's do this together. Okay, so now we are in Design Space, in Cricut Design Space. And because I showed you the bottle 
and the onesie. Let's look at the bottle and the onesie. And we'll create that. So we're going to go to images first and look at onesies. There's a lot of different types of onesies you can get, but you want to make sure whichever one you do, it's for cutting. And so as you can see, there's several. So I'm just going to pick a simple basic one and I'm going to use, let's use this one. It's free. And this, as you can see by the scissor, it's for cutting. So I'm going to add that to my canvas. I'm also going to select the baby bottle. And again, there's several to choose from. You want to make sure that you select one that is for cutting. Let's see. So I want to use a, a basic plain one because I'm not going to do anything but do what I want to it <laughs> to decorate it. So let's just take this one here. I'm going to add this to my canvas. Now, another image that you definitely want to get is you want to get lines. If you're wanting to put lines on your note card, you're going to have to add lines. Now I have, I, I, let me show you. Lines are tricky to me because there's so many of them and you can scroll forever. And because I don't, this is what happens. And because I, so you can get all kind of lines, right? But they'll look different whenever you get them on your canvas. So I have a line that I like. This is the line that I actually like and I use a lot. So I'm just going to add it to my canvas. But again, feel free to find whatever line you like and that works for you. And so notice my line comes, you know, straight up and down. The first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to size this. Now the sizes that I have for the ones that I showed you are three and a half, 3.5 by 2.5. This looks about right. And this is a straight up and down bottle, but I want it to have a little bit more shape. So I'm going to make it a little thicker in the waist here, like that. And I'm also going to make this one 3.5. And then a 2.5. Mm. More like this. Okay. So now I have both my baby's onesie and I have my baby bottle. And I do want this to be a little bit. There we go. 2. Point you can play with it however you want to, but I tend to like 2.5 and then 3.5. And again, which is where I put it in the first place. <laughs> I think I might have had it differently. 2.5 by 3.5. Yeah, there we go. Or something like that. How about that? We'll just leave it right there. Okay, and so for my line, I'm going to turn it around and I definitely want this to be 270. I want it to be a straight line and then I'm just going to bring it here and get it to the right size. So that's the right size for this design and then I'm going to duplicate it at the same size. I'm going to put the lines in here and I'm going to space them the way I want for however as many I want and how low I want. Okay. So now those are the lines. Now I have an extra one over here, which is fine. I could probably put this one up here. Did you determine how many lines you want? Okay, there we go. Now, here's my little trick. 
I'm gonna move this to the side. I'm gonna group these over here. And now that I've grouped them, I'm going to duplicate them as a grouped section. Then I'm just gonna take these and put these over here and line them up however I want to, like that. Put them in the center. Now I have my lines for this. Okay, cool. I'm gonna put this back over here. <laughs> Make sure it's lined up properly. There. Now for the text, I'm going to add a text box. For one, I'm just going to say blessings. You can say whatever you want to say. And then for the other text box, I'm going to say, let's add words of wisdom. Okay. Now, of course, these are going to have to be resized, but before I do that, I want to give it a font that I actually like. Now, for the font, because these are text that you want written by your Cricut pens, these are going to be pens, and you want the style to be writing. Okay, and notice how it changes. So you want these to be, again, you want this to be pen because you want it to to draw out the words and then instead of cutting them out and then you want to make sure that the style is writing and so this font is okay but it doesn't really stand out the way I want it to so I'm gonna look for writing fonts and the best way to do that is to do a filter and state writing so that all of the fonts that you're looking at are for single layer writing. It doesn't make a lot of sense to just scroll through 50 million font types and they're not for writing. And so I like this DJ always. So I think I'll take that one and put that one, use that one for my blessings. And of course I have to size it and I'm noticing that I'm gonna to have to bring this down some, which is okay. And so because I want this to be a prominent part, I'm gonna put this here, and I can probably bring it down a little bit more. Now the lines you can size, just as long as you, there you go, You've size that. And so now I have lines, I have my blessings where I want it. It looks cute. Okay, and then I'm going to group the whole thing, right? So let's do the same thing here. Now, I think I want to use a different font than the one that I just used. So as I scroll down, I think I like, hmm, let's use DTC Sweetberry. Okay. Eh, that doesn't have a lot of, I want something a little bit more blockish. So let's, let's try Don Juan under pressure. Uh, that one is okay, but still not giving me what I want. So again, I'll go back. So I still want writing fonts, but I want it to be a little bit blockish. So I'll just keep looking. I do like this everyday fonts, warm wishes. Let's try that one. Hmm. Hmm. No. And I will look one more time. Ginger snap. Love it. <laughs> Words of wisdom. Ginger snap. Now I just need to make it small enough to fit. And I want it, it's, because it's a decoration, I want it to fit right there. It stands out right there. Okay, good. I like it. I want these to cut on the same sheet. So to do that, I need to make sure they're the same color. Otherwise, my Cricut is going to act, let me take it off of group, 
um, recolor. I'm gonna move. I just want this to get to basic cut color. I'm gonna give it the same color as his sibling over here. Then I'm going to group it back. And now they're the same color and they will, when it comes time to make it, the machine will recognize that they're the same and they will treat them the same. Now, if you're, the only other changes is your, your pen. Whatever color you want these to write in, you need to state the color. And right now I have it, the pen operation in black. But let's say I want a dark blue. Okay, that's what it would look like. And I'm using the dark blue pen. So I'll just leave it like that. Okay, to start making these, one thing you want to do is you want to attach down here. Because if you do not attach it, what will happen is when you get ready to make it, it's going to be all over the place. Let me show you. So I'm using it on the mat, confirming. And notice how the lines on words of wisdom, all of this is not together. But if you look over here, the bottle is over here, but blessings, which I attached, is all together. You want to make sure that your designs are attached. If they are attached, that means their whole operation is going to be together and not separate. All right, so now we are ready to go to the Cricut Maker, in my case, or whatever machine you have, and make it. I'm going to use on the mat, 12 by 12 mat, I'm confirming. And this is what it's going to look like. So if you wanted to do 15, 20, however many. Now for this design, let's go back and look at how many you could actually get on one sheet. Let's, I'm going to duplicate this 12 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Minus one. I'm just gonna minus one because I want twelve. I'm gonna tell this one to not print. So this is twelve. Let's see how many you can get on the page. Look at that. Four, eight, twelve. So you you can get twelve. So you can actually make twelve of these in this sizing, and you actually have a little bit more space to make them a little larger and still make twelve on one sheet. So if you were going to make thirty six of these, or maybe enough for fifty people, you would literally just need four or five sheets of of construction paper or cardstock affordable. Okay. So now let's make them. I like these. These came out very pretty. I like them, but they still look sort of plain to me. I feel like they need to be zhuzhed, <laughs> zhuzhed up a little bit. So I'm going to do just a little something, just a little something. I think what I'm gonna do is put a little glitter, put a little glitter on it. 